DuPont Plantex Ground Grid is a surface stabilizer which is portable, lightweight and flexible, as well as very simple and quick to install. This innovative, flexible honeycomb structure can be adjusted to suit different types of ground surface. With its honeycomb shape, it provides an ideal surface for a wide variety of projects. Easy to install, DuPont Plantex Ground Grid is the quick and easy solution to transform your terrain into an easily manageable flat, stable surface for use on a day-to-day -day basis. Ideal for gravel parking areas, forest roads, vehicle access roads and throughways, DuPont Plantex Ground Grid is an easy and innovative solution for your landscaping projects. Its drainage capacity means that DuPont Plantex Ground Grid helps create clean, practical access routes which can even be used during rainfall, help preventing ground rutting and reducing the collection of surface water. Here's how to install it. It's important to prepare the ground before laying DuPont Plantex Ground Grid. The soil should be dug to a depth of 7 to 8 centimeters over the entire surface in order to provide a stable base. If the underlayer is soft, spread DuPont Plantex Geochroma or DuPont Taipar Geotextile over the surface. These will prevent weed growth and gravel migration into the base layer. Ensure that the entire surface is covered. Now unpack your ground grid. It's delivered in a compressed concertina format so that it can be easily stored and transported in light vehicles such as vans or even cars. Compact and lightweight, each pack nevertheless covers an area of 10 square meters, that is 1.25 meters in width and 8 meters in length. Firstly, identify the area where the honeycomb grid will be laid. Next, use iron rods to mark out the width. The distance between each corner must not exceed 1.25 meters since the pack will shrink in width when pulled lengthwise. Then stretch the structure to its maximum length of 8 meters, affixed to the other width point to maintain the hole. At this stage, when the cells have been laid but are still empty, do not walk directly on top, but use boards to distribute the weight. To cover the entire surface, lay a second structure next to the first and secure them together at the corners of the cells using staples. Do this throughout the length. Note that DuPont Plantex ground grid may also be easily laid on curved areas. The honeycomb structure will follow the contours of the root perfectly. Fill each end of the honeycomb structure with a little aggregate to hold it in place. At this stage, it's important to ensure that the cells are in constant contact with the ground over the entire length, thus preventing the gravel from migrating below the grid structure. When the end pieces have been filled, you can remove the iron rods so that they can be reused. Carefully divide the aggregate between the cells so that they're completely filled. Note, the aggregate should not be emptied from a height which exceeds 50 centimeters. Once the surface is finished, an additional layer must be applied before use so that the honeycomb structure is completely covered. To ensure a professional finish, trim the surplus areas of DuPont Plantex ground grid. Although very durable, unbreakable, it can easily be cut to the desired size or shaped with a craft knife or scissors. Once all the cells have been filled, compact the whole area using a roller. This will provide a more level surface, which will be even more stable when used. For best results, you can add finishing borders of your choice or simply cover the edges with gravel. You can now enjoy the comfort of DuPont Plantex Ground Grid every day.